Good morning. I can't find my little tripod thing, so you're just leaning against the coffee creamer. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This morning I fancied an egg, so I'm having egg on toast. Look at the colour of that yolk. That's like bright orange. It's like luminescent. Beautiful. Mm. But on some dry toast though. But I am gonna have mm. it's yummy. I mean who puts hot sauce on their toast in the morning? Me apparently. But it's so good. I did have plans today, sort of vague plans, but it's raining. I left my swimming costume on, outside on the line to dry. Obviously it's not dry because it's been rained on all night. I do have another swimming costume that I can wear um, and another towel. And I don't think I've got another robe, but that doesn't matter. But that's annoying, isn't it? Oh well. And we've got to wait in for some post this morning and do some post. Another exciting day in Flex Town. Okay, so what's going on this morning is a pair of star dangly earrings. They go into Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you? Not Nick Hills. I'm a different Nick. <laughs> um, a retro flat curved link necklace. Uh, that went for £12 for £9.99, a panther or bricklink necklace. Um, I put panther in the title because panther is what Cartier calls their one. Um, I don't know if it's panther because of Cartier or if Cartier chose panther. Anyways, I use it because they use it. There we go. An amber and stainless steel pendant necklace. £9.59. This Monet clip on pair of earrings, newer tags, £11.19. A Pilgrim heart dangly uh, bracelet, £12.99. A job lot of vintage jewellery, around 70 odd items in there, £27.99. A job lot of key rings, all the key rings in there, £9. A sterling silver. Bracelet, it's got these little hollow silver beads on it, eleven ninety nine. A tiger's eye. Can you see little tiger's eye? I think they're bears. I put bear fetish. Fetish is not like, oh, I've got a fetish with bears. Oh, I bloody love a bear. I do. That's just the name for like a carved animal. Don't know why. Could look it up. Um, they went for seven pounds sixty seven, and then this Dower and Hall. Pearl and sterling silver bracelet went for £31.99, but they want me to hold off on posting that. And then over on Etsy, we've got these lovely southwestern style turquoise and sterling silver earrings. So that's what I've got to package up right now, right now, whilst watching a little bit of Emily D. Baker that was um, streamed very early this morning. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock, mother. Yes, it's, it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, mother. I basically just, uh, I haven't done any listing or anything this morning. I did my post and then I watched some Emily D. Baker, like the lawyer. And then and then I, I was like, I don't actually want to do work, but I do want to go out and do something. So I'm going to go out and do something. But first of all, I've had a little delivery for my birthday, what I did treat myself to for my birthday. I might have mentioned it's my birthday. Anyways, from <laughs> Deliciously Guilt Free, which means that I can eat all of these, but I've got, um, I ordered, because it's my birthday, two lots of like treats from them. So I'm gonna try one now. Um, one of them is like this summer box, which is like a mixed box of little cakes. And then I got some cookies as well. So these are the little cakes. So this is their summer box. And it's all very nicely wrapped. So that's the summer box. So in here is, right, lemon drizzle cake, summer fruits blondie, St. Clemens cake, and strawberry and white chocolate blondie. Mm. Which all sound very nice. And in this one, which is the one I'm going to try now for lunch, is I've got some, is it pecan? 
pecan and caramel cookies. Mm, so I'm going to try one of these now. They look quite nice. Mm. Mum's having some ribita. And cheese and grapes. And cheese and grapes. But these are per cookie, 179 calories and yeah, three point some 2.7 grams of carbs. Here we are. So better for you than a Subway cookie. How do I get in? It's like thingy sealed. Rip it. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells really nice. It's a it's not a crunchy cookie, it's like a soft cookie. With a little crunch. Mmm. Mmm. It is kind of like a Subway cookie, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Really buttery. Mmm. Oh, I like that very much. I might go make myself a coffee to go with this. And then we're going to go and head out. I wonder where we're going to go. I'm still down with the kids. No, really. So a group of three lads, I don't know, maybe about 12, 13 or something, just passed. And without sarcasm, said, I like your hair. I'm like, thank you. See, I'm cool. I mean, like, what, what kids talk to, you know, a 42, nearly 43-year-old woman about their hair? Hmm? I'm down with the kids. Here we are in the rich and culturally diverse town of Mystig. Is it a town? Is it a village? I'm not quite sure actually. We're going to call it a town. Um, this is an ex-mining village. The last mine closed down in 1985 during those classic Thatcherite years that we all come to know and love. This town was also the place where um, Japanese knotweed was first spotted in the UK, so that's great, isn't it? That's according to Wikipedia. Had a quick look on the way. Anyways, just about finished my costa. Yep, that's done. Let's go charity shopping.
Well, my stay has been a thrill ride, a veritable smorgasbord of delights. But uh, it's time for us to catch a train and go back home. Um, actually, shall we go the quicker way? Ooh. Hey. Oh, I need a wee. That's better. Right. Now I can show you what I've got. Okay, well, you might have seen that uh, one of the first things that I saw, well, stuff that I saw in the first shop, were all of these Disney Store Muppet plushes. Sadly, animals missing an arm. Poor animal. Bless. So, some of them have seen better days. That's from the movie, that one, isn't it? So, um, and Beaker's been um, through the mill a bit. So we've got four, five. He's got a little bobble on his jumper. And Fuzzy Bear, six. So all of these were a fiver each. Well, fiver each, no, a pound each. So I paid a fiver for the lot because I reckon she probably gave me animal for free. Now this one on its own, he's the money maker, but I'm going to sell them all as a bundle, I think. Because I can't really sell Animal on his own, or really Beaker, so um, I'll say that obviously they're, you know, some of them have seen better days. Waka waka waka. Um, but yeah, chuffed with that, and they're just fun as well, and something a bit different for my shop. So I'll probably do them as a Sunday night auction pretty soon. I also got a couple of bits of jewellery as well, this ceramic pendant and a ring that's stamped 925, but I don't think it is, but I just thought it was an unusual ring, but I'll show that again on a sparkly things lot. Um, from a couple of other shops, I did get some more jewelry. Um, I got, is that a, a daisy or a splat? Like an egg splat, who knows? But it was £1.49 and a little mouse and a pair of silver earrings and a Swarovski necklace. But again, I'll show them in better detail in a sparkly things video. I also got a Thuya, don't know how you pronounce it, Thuya Burwood box for £3.49. Um, probably boxwood inside, says Tom the English picker. It smells really nice. Um, but yeah, nice box. So I'm hoping for about 2025 on that one. I got a kitty cat. An abstract kitty cat for two pounds, ceramic, weird face, no marks on him that I can see, don't think so. So a bizarre one, did a Google image search, can't really find anything like it, but I thought he was smart anyway. So for two pounds I picked him up. Um, Some mugs, I don't normally buy mugs, but there was a set of four of these, Port of Call by Jeff Banks with this very kind of 90s. Um, print. There's another colourway of this, I think, and someone had managed to get £30 for two of them, so I've got four. Um, I'd probably sell them in pairs. This one has got the tiniest. Is it a chip or is it just where the paint hasn't? No, it's a tiny, tiny chip, so maybe I'll sell like a pair and two singles, perhaps. Anyway, they were £1.50 each, so I figure probably a decent return on that. This was 50p, this is um, nomination, you know, the bracelets, like um, a little travel pouch for them, which I thought was quite nice, 50p, someone will want that. And then there's this, which is actually for my sister, because I sent her a picture of it for her, because she likes things like this. So this is Royal Albert um, Centennial, Centennial Rose Fine Bone China Cake Plate, Cake Stand. So... There we go, £2.49. Um, so that's for my sister. There we go. So I did okay today. Um, Mum's cooking a mince over there and it smells absolutely lush. But I don't know whether to eat first and then go swimming or go swimming first and eat after. That's probably the better plan. But maybe I'll just have a, a little snackette now because I only had that cookie for lunch and a costa. So I might have a little something and then go for a swim. What do you think? Yes, I think so too. So this is my stack. I made um, one of, like a smoothie using some of that Lukaku coffee creamer and almond milk and ice. 
and one of those lovely little cakes and Shizuma thinks this is for her. I don't think so. That's my swim done. I only did half a kilometre today. Um, it was someone else in the pool and we had to like time our swims together and stuff. And it was just getting a bit annoying. And besides, I'm hungry and I want to go home for some dinner. So we're going to go do that. Cool, and this is dinner with the washing on again. Minced beef chilli, peppers, tomatoes, onions in there, some sour cream, some broccoli some cauliflower rice beast so i've just um been chatting to my friend bell who got me these birthday presents the bath bombs chanel bath bombs and posh mascara but um as you saw just then shizuma was loving the bag but as soon as she gets on camera she buggers off typical and this is the mascara. It's really nice mascara, actually. So thank you very much, Belle. Um, I'm going to now go and jump in the bath. I'm going to take one of these with me. So I'm going to say goodnight for now. So I hope you've enjoyed today. I have. In a small way. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.